Yeah. It all makes sense now. This wire goes to the oil pump, so it's been disconnected, which would explain lack of compression in the engine. So my best guess is the wire must have come loose when I put this new earth on and I was unaware so it took a second to fix I bet you the bike will go now Hi folks, welcome back and keep watching <laughs> Okay, let's find out if it was just that connector. No way, Jose. Connector there, which goes to the oil pump, and yeah, I think the throttle valve has been open just a millimeter or two, and they shouldn't have been. And having a better seal on the vacuum pipe has made a difference as well. Oh. <laughs> Sounds so sweet, eh? Sounds
Now you're not going to believe this folks, I have just found a big hole in the exhaust, right there. Oh, right, well I don't want to change these down pipes because that's part of it. Oh dear. <laughs> found another problem. There is definitely a air leak in there and that rubber is the one that I replaced. So I need to get a new one. You can hear the revs going up. That Jubilee clip's on as tight as it can go. So it's a rubber that's at fault. It's not one thing, it's another. So I think I will call it a day knowing that. <laughs> well, it's progress folks. <laughs> the bite starts first time every time now, but needs choke to run. There's an air leak and to top it off, there's a hole in the exhaust. <laughs> The bike keeps throwing me curveballs. So I hope you've enjoyed folks and until the next one, thanks for watching. <laughs>